Hi guys, welcome back to Vlogmas Day 15. Um, now, I know yesterday I said that Matt and I were going to come and talk to you guys. Um, and that my intentions were to upload that way earlier today. I think it's about a little after 4 right now. But I wanted to upload that early for you guys. So we were going to um, pre-record that last night. So it could be up early today. And we tried to record that yesterday or last night when he got off work. But you guys are going to see that I was completely sick last night. Like, it just happened so fast from um, uploading the morning day in the life of a stay-at-home mom. At, while I was, like, editing that and uploading that, I just felt completely sick. I had chills and I was just, I needed to be in the bed. Like, my body was aching all over the place. And I took a nap. You guys are going to see. But, um, I... When we started doing the video last night, I was like so delirious and out of it, I guess. Like I wasn't paying attention to what I was talking about. I was just like, maybe you guys would like to see that. But I just wasn't myself, obviously. And I'm still like a little bit like, I guess nasally. I hate that, the way that sounds. But um, I feel good. I feel better. Um, so when it comes to home work today, we're going to do it. And I'm going to like make it go fast because he's um, actually getting me some... What is it called? Takeout food. I'm excited to eat that, so I'm gonna have to hurry that vlog up. But um, I'm going to we're gonna do the vlog when he gets home from work in an hour, and I'm going to upload that. So I think I've always been doing the uploading at like seven, seven thirty. Anyways, it wasn't my like intention to do it that late, but it's just how that's been like flowing. Um, and you guys seem to be okay with uploading with me doing that in the afternoon. So we'll see. But you guys are going to see that. I'm going to probably put like a little bit of bloopers at the end of this. And that's going to be from when we tried to do it yesterday. <laughs> um, so Vlogmas 15. Today is the 15th. I'm pretty sure. Yeah. Um, Thursday. And my kids had a snow day. So if you guys watched yesterday's vlog, you know, I was talking about like taking my kids out of school. Uh, I was totally going to do that. Like today was the day we're not going to school. Um, and so we get like a, a text message, an email, and a phone call saying that there was a two hour delay um, because of the snow. And then I was like, oh my god, yes, yes. And so then we get another text saying that school was canceled. When I tell you, I was like, Matt was like texting me like, whoa, school was canceled. <laughs> like, my kids weren't going to school anyways, but the fact that nobody else kids were, it was just like good. Like, I didn't want my kids to get a tardy and stuff, but. It was just really bad outside, and it was like 18 degrees. Like my sister calls me early that morning. She's she lives like an hour and a half away, and it was, it's just bad all over here. And she's like sliding and sliding into like a snowbank, and she's like screaming on the phone. Like it was really bad. And I have not been outside all day today, which is what I was gonna plan anyways. Like I'm not going outside, so I happen to like walk by a window in the kids' rooms or my room, and I'm like. Oh my gosh, like it looks like that outside. So I'm going to show you guys soon how it looks outside. But um, I think that is all. Yeah, so after this clip, you'll see outside. And then Matt and I will, I promise, we're going to talk about what we wanted to talk about. And not going to keep you too long, but I promise you guys the video, so we're going to do it. Um, I hope you guys are having a really good day. And I hope wherever you guys are, it's the sun is shining and... It's warm. You could possibly go to the beach or the pool and drink some Kool-Aid outside. Like, I just, never mind. Anyways, I'm grateful. I'm thankful. Um, I just wish we had a little bit of warmth. But I'm going to show you guys how it looks outside right now. So I've been out here for literally two seconds. And it's going everywhere. Like, Matt took my, it looks completely white <laughs> Matt took my uh, van with my hooded coat in it, so I had to come out here like this. But this is crazy. Like, you can't see. <sighs> I don't mind showing you guys this because you can't see anything. <sighs> Insane. Oh 
Hi guys and welcome back to Vlogmas 15. Um, today is actually yesterday when I put up the day in the life or the morning in the life of a stay at home mom. Um, I don't know what happened but I just got sick all of a sudden. I don't think it's all of a sudden. I think I woke up and my throat was already itchy and then Lucas, I noticed that he, I do um, nose checks, I know that's weird but I do nose checks for all of my kids, I get it from my mom. And so as I was doing his nose check, I like noticed that he was sick, so or getting sick. Um, and then it just gradually like increased and then I guess when I was putting up the yesterday's video, I was just like really, my body was aching, I was getting chills, I was just ready to upload it and then get in the bed. And I ended up getting in the bed and taking a nap. Um, it's 10.33 right now. Um, and I just don't feel good, but I'm gonna do this because we're we gonna do it. Anyways, so. My babies are getting sick. Yeah, um, but this topic, as you guys can probably tell by the title now, is are we having baby number five? All right guys, hi, so Matt's home from work and as promised, we are gonna finally talk about what we wanted to talk about. I'm sure you guys know by the title what we're gonna talk about already. <laughs> um, but I just wanted to quickly come in here because my food's over there getting cold. Um, I've gotten, by the way. Um, okay, so a few weeks ago, somebody asked us if we, um, what did they ask us? They said, do you plan on having um, more kids? And Whenever somebody asks us that, I always try to look at like their intentions behind that question. Some people can be shaded. Some people are genuinely like curious to know, like, do you want to expand your family even more? Um, but like I said, some people can definitely be shady and like sneaky to ask that question with like, I guess, backhanded reasons behind it. If I like, if I know you're a shady person and you're asking me that, I'm gonna know you're being shady with the question, <laughs> you know. Um, so I figured we'll do a video about it and just talk about briefly about like what we feel is best for our family and things like that. Um, just the background story. Natalie, our oldest, would be nine in two months. I got pregnant with Courtney when Natalie was six months, and then we waited. And shh, I'm not good with math, so <laughs> we waited. Lucas is four. Yeah, we, it was about four years. And then Kinsley came after. So, like, again, like, three, four years we waited for Kinsley, for Lucas and Kinsley. Um, I don't feel like we have babies too soon, except for with the girls. But I think that was a good thing for us. I mean, they're close in age, and I like that. Um, in fact, I wish the other two were kind of closer in age. But anyway, so, I, like, going back to people asking, asking us that question, I also feel like, it's kind of like a rude question to ask somebody like you shouldn't really care about my uterus that much um and i don't mean that in a rude way i, I don't want this to come off as rude but i just feel like you should kind of like maybe i feel like <laughs> we don't we shouldn't give people the impression that you need to ask us if we're gonna have more kids because Matt and i raise our own kids and it was always been way. we take care of our own kids um they're all always with us and thankfully it was because him being in the military and us being stationed so many different places well we didn't have family there were like no family around us so i had to raise my kids myself and even if i was around family i still would have raised my kids you know by ourselves that's just like it's like no shade no slight to anybody it's just my personality i can't say that word my personality right yeah, my yeah. personality is just i'm a very like i'm i'm a hands-on mom and i like doing stuff with my kids myself and i like um it may sound selfish but and I, I don't really apologize for that because that's just the kind of mom i am i think you know there's some people who literally raise their grandkids and raise their great grandkids and they you know not complain about it but say like oh you know it's you know, everybody says like, oh, boo-hoo, you shouldn't have to raise your grandkids or your great-grandkids. We're not doing that. Like, we take responsibility. We raise our own kids. Um, no shade or anything to people who get help from 
um, grandparents or parents or anything like that. It's just, that's not what we do. I mean, our, I think our family would love to help us out, and they have in the past. Like, Matt and I chose to, you know, do date nights, so just so our family could spend time with our kids, and we get together and stuff with them a lot. Well, not a lot, but <laughs> I think, yeah, enough. And um, we... We don't have to go on date nights, you guys, when we're comfortable sitting at home watching movies here. But we went on date nights, especially this most recent time, so our families could spend time with the kids. Um, there's a there's a sense of pride, yeah, a sense of pride that comes from raising your own kids, and I think we're we're very proud of what we've done. Yeah, and I'm sure maybe when they get older, we'll need like advice or anything. But I feel like I've done. We've done a pretty good job of of um, taking care of our own kids. I don't know. Yeah. Um, but that's also to say, I'm getting off topic, but also to say that thinking about bringing in baby number five, I think we can both collectively say no. Yeah. <laughs> I don't think we, I don't think it would be responsible to um, bring in another baby. We... We want to focus on the four that we have. And as they grow and continue to grow, their needs change. Like now, we're dealing with feelings and emotions with the other, the older girls and um, crying a lot. And this person did this to me at school. Not bad, but just like deep into their feelings. And I have to kind of nurture them and spend time with them. And you have to spend time with each one. Yeah, and I, I mean, that's why I'm so... I'm thankful for her because she's able to do that um, and then pass the information on to me, which is great because I don't, you know, working, I don't spend as much time as I'd like to at home with the kids and, you know, I'm not, I'm not complaining at all, but it's hard to spend equal amounts of time with the five people mm -hmm. that want to spend time with me. You know, I got the, the four kids and then also my wife. Right, and then like when he comes home, we make it a point that he spends time with each kid. And not like, sometimes it's cool to spend time with each other all together because we do a lot of family things with all um, six of us. But just going to each individual and like being eye level with them and talking to them and understanding them and um, having them open up to you, I think that's important as well. And it's hard when he is at work during the day or during the night and then comes home for like what eight hours maybe mm -hmm. it's difficult to spend that equal amount of time with everyone and then me i'm just a tiny bit selfish and so like i'll be looking at him like i'll be looking at him like um you're gonna hurry this up and spend time with me like yeah. <laughs> i know that's so bad but that's what i do so mm -hmm. and the uh yeah i just make sure i i can get down and, and talk to each kid yeah i think adding a fifth would just that's not responsible and it's just not and the pregnancy with um kinsley was difficult enough and i just don't want to go through that again so i guess to sum this all up we are going to love nurture care for god as best we can um the four that we have and we're gonna just see and wait for future nieces and nephews, mm. <laughs> for my sisters and my sister friends and all you guys. Um, but that's all. I love big families. I love seeing big families. I think it's absolutely beautiful and when they all grow up and you get together at the dinner table and then you bring in the boyfriends and the wives and all that stuff. It's, it's a, I, I'm excited to see that and I love seeing that. But we are um, definitely done with uh, having babies and... Mm as sad as it is but we're gonna just love like I said the, the kids that we have and enjoy our family and travel more and all that good stuff um, with our Sanford four anything else yeah. that's all you guys thank you for um, listening to this I know you guys waited forever <laughs> for us to get to this I'm sorry I'm gonna show you a little bit of well you probably already saw I don't know how this is gonna work but you'll see like I was just out of it yesterday like really out of it last night um and that's all I'm hungry so I'm gonna really eat and upload this and I will see you guys tomorrow for are we gonna do the arts and crafts yeah I think that's what we're gonna do tomorrow's Friday right yeah yep okay so you might yep. see a little bit of arts and crafts it's never too late to 
decorate for Christmas, okay? Even though it is 10 days away. It does not even feel like that. Like, mm -mm. That tomorrow's going to be 9. That's yeah. crazy. It doesn't feel like that. Anyways. It doesn't feel like Christmas even though we have the tree. I love that tree. Yeah. Um, okay, so thank you guys for watching. And I will see you guys tomorrow for Vlogmas Day. 16. 16th. 16th. Bye, guys. I'm not behind that. <laughs> That's rude. Guys will be like, uh, okay. Boom, baby, the vibe. Leave that in? Yeah. All of it? Mm hmm You're adorable. I know. <laughs> and you know, you don't want to mess with Thelma and Louise. <laughs> I give you <laughs> a Caucasian uppercut. You don't even know what an uppercut is. It's this. Oh. Okay. <laughs> Took you right out. Break your, break your wrist. <laughs> Don't make fun of me. Let's go. Let's go. You ready? Oh, sure.